Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, my name is Rani Shairani Firdaus I am from Uyim Syarif Iriyatullah, Jakarta My major is Arabic Language Education Okay, I'm going to express my opinion about the purity of Tikka The purity of Tikka As Muslim, of course we are quite familiar with Tikka Even science killed out, we have been told not to stand Ten hours after performing the prayer service, but I ask to make dikir and prayer to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Dikir after pray is a sunnah sunnah practice that can strain a Muslim faith, make his heart much calm, and his prayer is easily answered by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Prayer and dikir after prayer not only give coolness to the soul, but will also lead to extraordinary practice. Of course, this habit is in accordance with what Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did before. Bikr after prayer can be carried out in congregation or individually. It is very good some of the benefits of Bikr. The first reward bone is the way to enter heaven, forgive, forgive his sins, including alms, and the last gift pitch of me and soul. In the book Ihya Ulumuddin, Imam Al-Ghazali includes specific instructions regarding, regarding prayer and prayer. According to him, one of the highly recommended speaker is to read Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, and Allah Akbar 33 times. Then it close by reciting La ilaha illallah, la sharika lahu, lahul mulku, wa lahul hamdu, wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir one time. This opinion is based on the habit of Abu Hurairah's story which writes Qala sallallahu alaihi wa sallam Mansa bahada barakullah salatin salata wa salatina Wa hamida salata wa salatina Wa khabira salata wa salatina Wa khatamal ma'ah bila ilaha illallah La sharika la lahul mulku wa lahul hamdu Wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir Wa partu dhunubahu wa lahu kanat mitla zabada al-bahar Meaning Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Whoever glorifies his sight and recites takbir after praying 20-30 times, <coughs> by reading La ilaha illallah, la sharika lahu, lahul mulku, wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir, then the sins will be forgiven, even though as much as the foam in the ocean." Hadis riwayat Malik. If we feel our hearts are sick, restless, or feel confused. Motively dikir because this is one of the sunnah that the Prophet did, as explained in the Al in the Al Quran Surah Ar Rod, verse 28, which reads, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allah dina amanu wa tatma inna kulubuhum didikrilah. Allah didikrilah hitatma inna kulub. The meaning that is, those who believe and their hearts find rest in the remembrance of Allah. Remembering Allah, the heart becomes peaceful. This letter explains the virtues of remembrance by remembering of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through dhikr. Thus, whose tongues of of them recite dhikr will live their daily lives with a peaceful heart and a calm soul. Another case, if someone does not want to dhikr or remember Allah, is explained in the Quran Surah Toha 124 which reads Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Wa man a'radu an dhikri fa inna lahu ma'ishatan dunkaw wa nahshuruhu yawmal qiyamati a'ma Meaning, and whoever forgets to remember me, then indeed for him is a life that is so narrow and later on the day of resurrection, he will be gathered in a state of billionness in the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala both our life will be very crimes if, if we forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because only Allah can give us abundant sustenance, enjoyment that is so luxurious that we can even achieve a forms of peace and comfort in life if we always remember Allah. For people who often forget about God, also when after they die and are resurrected. God will gather the person in a blind state. So actually, as long as his heart has not recited his belief in guidance, he is always an anxiety 
to moil, composition, and indecision. He is also constantly in doubt. This is what is mean by narrow life. One day, the son of one of the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was captured by infidels while tending sheep. The child is the son of Al bin Malik, who also has a large collection of hadith narrations and is a very intelligent friend. Al bin Malik said, "O oh, Messenger of Allah, the enemy has captured my son." I and his mother are very worried about him. What should I do? After hearing Auf bin Malik's story, the Messenger of Allah said, O oh, Auf, read more of the dictates. La hawla wa la quwata illa billahi al-alihi al-azim. Without him alone, Auf and his wife implement the advice of the Prophet. It was really beyond Auf and his wife's expectation. Some time later, thanks to the help of God and the remembrance read by Auf and his wife, their child was able to escape when the unbelievers were unaware of their supervision. He also returned home safely by herding 4,000 sheep. Thus, God gave away to his servant after facing difficult, many benefits in everyday life and can help calm the heart. That's my recommendation about the purity of the care. Thanks for watching my video. See you next time and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you.